you think, bro? Dude, it's, uh, it's dope. Guys, this color, I know it's like black and white right now. I have not revealed the color. Oh, that's right. You're going to come. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but dude, <laughs> this car is absolutely insane. I'm going to be completely honest. My favorite color I have yet to do for any of the cars. This color looks so crazy in person. <laughs> yeah, so we just pulled up to the wrap vault. We actually took the car back to Londo's for a little bit. We had to do a little bit of work with the suspension and the new wheels. I haven't even talked about it or showed you guys yet, but these are the new wheels, guys. We got some SSR FP6s. These wheels are so sick. No, you guys can't see the color, but guys, once you see the full thing, this color combo is so fire. It's, it's actually the first time seeing it outside in the sun. It definitely hits different. Sick. You like it, bro? Yeah. <laughs> seeing it in the sun right now? Damn. Dude, it's crazy. Oh, you just said too. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you guys, this color hits different. It's on the video, it's like my favorite color. No, I heard you. I've yet to do. It's, it's one of my favorite colors now. Too. Really? Yeah, I, I mean, if you didn't do it, I, I wanted it. <laughs> Dude, do it still. We'll be, we'll be twins. <laughs> Stock body and wide body. Shout out to Manny, bro. <laughs> Shout out to Manny, bro. He's had no sleep wrapping his car. <laughs> huh? What's up, bro? How you doing? It's not looking too good. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Guys, we got how many hours? Oh, Let's left? Just... Like two hours left. Two hours? It's going to turn into like five. Two, two more days. We haven't slept. It is about, I want to say noon time right now. Less than 24 hours, we need this car right here on the trailer on the way to Las Vegas for SEMA. So we're kind of close guys, but honestly we've been making so much progress these past few days. If you guys have been watching the videos, I've been saying, you know, like I'm so stressed, this and that. Once again, I apologize for the video being in black and white for now. We're gonna do a sick little reveal. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna just, you know, once we throw everything on, the fenders, um, I'm gonna do a little sick reveal. But yeah guys, we're getting there. They just finished the rear bumper. They have to do the rear fenders. And um, this is the bumper. I think he just finished this too a couple hours ago. So almost there, guys. We got a couple fenders left. Almost there, bro. How many hours have you slept this past three days? Like three. Three? Three. three. Dude, this guy hours, never sleeps. Hours, Let's follow Manny. This guy never sleeps. Why? His, uh, his freaking thing look on the day because he never sleeps. <laughs> no, that's true. Huh? <laughs> Big shout out to the Rat Vault. Manny at the Rat Vault has been putting so much work into you know my builds. You know, as you can see. He's done the STI two times. You know, he did the red one for the reveal this past June, and then he did the baby blue as well. If you guys remember that, it was like a baby blue wrap from a Nose Tech. Uh, so he did this car two times. He's done the Beer Z two times. You know, he did that pink Ruby Star, and then also the purple for SEMA last year. This will be the literally fifth time, fifth time Manny's wrapped the cars. LA area, Ontario, hit him up. He does super quality work. As you can tell, I'm always coming back because literally, he does amazing work. So glad to have Manny on board with the FRS this year. It's always dope rewrapping the cars, <laughs> getting a new color to kind of freshen things up. Here it is guys, today is pretty much the moment you guys have all been waiting for, the moment I have been waiting for. Uh, we are officially going to reveal completed FRS. Wide body, wrapped, new wheels and everything. Literally have to get this car on the trailer in about four hours. Uh, right now, I'm just filling up on some gas. We're about to pick up the car right now at the wrap shop. And um, I got some sneak peeks. I was actually at the shop earlier. Yeah, this car is insane. I, I just absolutely love everything about this new look, the new phase. Like I said, this car just definitely deserved uh, this, this makeover. So I'm super excited to show you guys. I always keep a pack of gloves in the trunk just for the gas station. These things are so dirty. <laughs> Honestly, shout out to the STI. Dude, we've been driving this car the crazy for the past couple weeks, driving this thing up to LA nonstop, 10 out of 10 daily. Only thing is though, kind of saddens me we're putting hella miles on the STI, but yeah. It's honestly been good though, so far. It is 
12.42, we just made it back to Lonzo's shop. 12.42 and the tow arrives around 2.30, so we got two hours to finish everything that we have to do. I know it's still black and white, but trust me, in literally like a couple minutes, I'm gonna show you guys literally the new color. One of the last missing pieces to the car is this brand new exhaust. We have a Gretti Evo GT. I've always wanted to run this exhaust. Super excited. Dual tip, three inch. trying to get it on the trailer. This thing is so freaking wide, so it's kind of wide. It's taking more, longer than usual, but we're, 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 we're trying. But you can straighten out, straighten out, straighten out. Yeah, you're good. You're still good over here. You're good, you're solid. You got like a inch of Yeah, you're good over here. You're good, you're good, you're good. You're, you're, past, you're past the hard spot. Barely fit. Oh, dude, it's so windy. I got stuff in my eyes. So guys, it's time to go to Vegas. SEMA bound. Ready, bro? Two years in a row. Let's get it. Yeah, looking good on the trailer. Heck yeah.
good, bro. How's it drive? Let's <laughs> street, let's street, let's street. Dude, the car looks so good on the trailer, bro. Oh my god, man. <laughs> it, makes, it makes the trailer 100% better. Like I said, this thing does not fit on the trailer. It's way too wide, so we're gonna go ahead and throw the wheel back on the car once we unload it off of the trailer. And uh, yeah, dude, let's get it. Finally at SEMA. I see you, bro. <laughs> Repping yeah, the stick. <laughs> you got yours too on the on the truck, yeah, right there. Oh, you didn't see that? I was looking at it the whole time. You got your sticker too. Hey, who's that? Damn, even this trailer is on air, bro. Oh, no, no. <laughs> he breaks up. Yeah, it was up. It was up? Yeah, it was up. Maybe because it was... I don't know, that's weird. So as we were unloading the FRS off of the trailer, something weird kind of happened. Uh, once the straps were taken off, the car started rolling backwards, even though the e-brake was up, which is super weird. Luckily, nothing happened. Luckily, the car didn't like roll off the trailer. That would have been all bad. But anyways, guys, this is the new color for the FRS and pretty much the big reveal that you guys have all been waiting for. I know in the previous video, I was kind of throwing hints at you guys and I kind of revealed too much. Uh, a few of you guys have actually guessed the new color since I kind of said it was like a Porsche OEM color and also that it wasn't a color that I've ever done before. So kind of revealed too much there, but yes, it is right. I've never done a color like this, never done a green. For this year, Inositec dropped this super sick green color. And once I saw this color, I just knew I had to hop on this. So this is the new color, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the new wrap color for the FRS. All right, guys, well, we officially parked the FRS. That wasn't honestly too bad. I showed up, I think, an hour and a half late, so we didn't really have to do a lot of waiting. Usually, you have to wait, like, in this parking lot outside, but um, luckily, we didn't have to do that today, but currently trying to find a bathroom. Got Randy's car right here. One day, guys. Guys, check it out. <laughs> trying to find a bathroom. We stumbled upon Cam's car. One of the three 300 cars that are here. Damn. Yeah, he did have the V3 kit as well. This year, he went with this 300 kit and dude check it out it's crazy he actually has the carbon edition so it's kind of hard to tell since it's black but it's got the carbon vents instead of the black ones that i have but what do you guys think that's yeah, kind of cool seeing i guess sema before it gets packed during the week so this is kind of like pre sema i guess you want to say damn look how wide that is jeez <laughs> that's insane that's wow. crazy i'm sure you guys have seen cam's car though Insane, bro. Literally has to be honestly the best freaking build ever. <laughs> Finally get to see this thing in person too. Always see this thing on Instagram. Did this guy like flip it over or something like that yeah, too? Was, he crashed it and then rebuilt it. Flipped it over and it just went all chassis. Wow. Dang. That's cool. They kind of <laughs> get to sign it. Full tube chassis. Look how wide it is though. <laughs> So freaking wide. It's the cool thing about SEMA is you see stuff that you usually do not see. It's, it's crazy. Got a motor in the back and motor in the front. <laughs> this is what I mean. You see stuff like this. It's so crazy. Right, this is super random, but if you guys didn't know, uh, the Las Vegas Convention Center actually has an underground Tesla. What do you even call it? Like a tunnel? It's like a tunnel transportation system where you can go through the whole convention center faster underground but yeah we're gonna check it out for the first time i always heard about it but i just never really gone down here you know what this reminds me of at uh disneyland like autotopia like the little car stations like you just pick one awesome Thank you. Uh, how's it going uh, south hall first time <laughs> this is crazy how scary <laughs> Official guys, got my badge. Name and everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it has been, I want to say, four to five hours since the last clip you guys just saw. I'm sorry for the lighting, it is pretty dark already. We've just been spending the last four to five hours just 
kind of getting this thing ready. There's a few small things that we had to do. Um, as you can see, we haven't even put the gas cap on. Look, <laughs> we brought all our tools with us, but guys, check it out. It is so weird. Like, it does not look like my car. I feel like this does not resemble my FRS. Like, it's so new. It looks so different, but not in a bad way. I absolutely love it. It looks so freaking good with the new Street Hunter Gen 1 kit. We also have the new wheels. We have SSR FP6s, I believe they're called. I'm not too sure if I really mentioned these new wheels, but yes, brand new wheels with the brand new wide body kit. So nice. I'm just completely in love with this whole new setup. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. It is just such a different sight to see. I'm so not used to it, just compared to the other version that we had this FRS. Everything is just so new with this kit. It just does not look like my car. I know that sounds kind of bad, but just in a good way, it is just such a big change from what the car used to look like. <sighs> Insane. Let me know down in the comment section below your guys' opinion. We're actually about to head out right now. It is getting dark, and we got a five hour drive ahead of us to get home. <sighs> Rolling for SEMA has officially been done. I gotta drive back to San Diego. It's about a five hour drive. People usually stay, you know, the whole entire week, um, you know, for SEMA week, because it is Monday through Friday, but I have a nine to five. <laughs> so in that case, I have to work a couple of days and I'm actually gonna be coming back next week. Uh, I believe Thursday or either Friday. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to stay the entire week, um, but I will catch the end of SEMA kind of just see everything you know that one or two days that I'm here <laughs> it's been a long day we had a lot to do um, on the FRS kind of just added up all just small little details um, but the FRS is finally at the point where I think it's show ready <laughs> so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video like I said it's just been a crazy two weeks getting the car to look how it looks right now um, it was just such a time crunch we literally got the wide body kit a week and a half before SEMA so so much had to be done you know we had to install the wide body get the car wrapped crazy so <laughs> I'm glad that we you know finally made it to SEMA that car just really needed a full makeover man it's time to eat finally made it back to the STI yeah this was literally where we were unloading the car earlier 